Well, airstrikes in Syria targeting Iranian-backed militant groups. The Defense Department saying two Air Force F-16s struck two facilities affiliated with the Islamic Revolutionary Guard and other Iranian proxies in eastern Syria in response to more than a dozen strikes on U.S. bases in Syria and Iraq, where 21 U.S. service members were injured. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin saying the United States has no intention nor desire to engage in further hostilities, but these Iranian-backed attacks against U.S. forces are unacceptable and must stop. Our senior Pentagon reporter, Louis Martinez, has been tracking these airstrikes. So, Louis, let's just unpack the strategy here. Well, the strategy here, Kira, is essentially to deter Iran from forcing or requiring these Iranian-backed groups to continue with their attacks against U.S. military forces in Iraq and Syria. The United States has no doubt that Iran is behind this. They say that uh, these militias may, may call themselves whatever they want, but that the real force behind these attacks is Iran. And so the intention here, as you heard from Austin in his statement and earlier this morning from John Kirby, the NSC spokesman, is that these the United States is not seeking hostilities with Iran, um, but essentially what they want to do is deter Iran from continuing with these attacks. Um, and so that's why they struck these two facilities um, that are essentially linked to the now more than 20 attacks against U.S. bases in Iraq and Syria. So why these two locations? Those two locations were specifically targeted, Kara, because they are uh, munitions areas, areas where uh, those Iranian-backed militias stored munitions that have been provided to them by Iran. The United States says that they can directly link some of the weapons that were stored there to these attacks on these uh, bases in Iraq and Syria. So they think that by striking at them, they will be, make a significant impact on well, the kinds of attacks that can ca be carried out in the future. Um, and But it remains to be seen if that's actually going to happen, Kira, because just, let's say, about 12 hours uh, after those two airstrikes, uh, we understand that there was uh, yet another attempted attack on a U.S. base, uh, this time on al-Assad in western uh, Iraq. And of course, this all ties into the Israel-Hamas war. Just put that, put those pieces together for us. Well, the pieces here, Kara, are very complicated. Remember, the United States is trying to deter both Iran and Hezbollah from essentially getting involved in the conflict. And they say that's the reason why they've surged those carriers, why they've surged additional air defense systems into the region. But last night, we were told by officials, and the message continues to be, that that is separate from what happened with these airstrikes. They are emphasizing that these airstrikes were in for American self-defense. Remember, American troops have the right of self-defense. And since they are coming under attack from these Iranian-backed militias, the United States is going to do what it can to protect them. And so that's why these uh, airstrikes were carried out. They went to great lengths to emphasize that this is not directly tied to the situation between Israel and Hamas. But one must remember that one, the Iranians themselves are saying that the reason why these attacks seem to be happening is because of the situation with Hamas, which is also backed by Iran. All right, Louis, we'll keep talking. Appreciate it. No doubt there Thanks, will sir. probably be more airstrikes. You bet. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.